Let's unbox this. Actually, this is a pretty cool box to unbox. Okay, you lift that up and then you pull that. I'm gonna do an unbox. Hey, I'm Randy and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we help everyone find high value hi-fi home theater and headphone equipment. And today, we're talking about the Sumiko Phono Cartridge Oyster Series. This is the Wellfleet. I'm not quite sure about the packaging here. Reminds me of something else. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Sumiko Wellfleet Phono Cartridge. Ugh. The last cup is always the most bitter cup. Today's sponsor is a doozy. That's right. It is the Cheap Audio Man Record Mat. Uh, cheap Audio Man Record Mats. You know it's audiophile when you have a guy like this looking at you. Sumiko Oyster Series Phono Cartridge Well Fleet Oyster Series. <laughs> like the watch? I don't know. Anyway, it comes with a very nice cedar little box. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. It smells good too. Like a cigar. Cigar shop. Why did cedar? Maybe, I don't know, you need to keep your funnel cartridge low humidity. Humidor? Do we need to keep funnel cartridges and humidors? Alright. Let's unbox this. Actually, this is a pretty cool box to unbox. Okay. You lift that up and then you pull that. I'm gonna do an unbox. It's okay. It was a joke. No phono cartridges were harmed in the making of this video. Okay? There wasn't a phono cartridge in there. It's a joke. Okay? Ooh, look at this thing. Look how pretty this thing is. It's got some blue on there and some black. All right. Big, big stylus cover, which I like because I can be a little bit heavy handed with things at times. So, why don't we install this on one of my removable head shells? And give it a listen on the old Fluence RT83. So the Wellfleet cartridge comes with uh, an Allen wrench. Hold on, if I can get it out of here, I'll show it to you. Two little bolts. Thank you, Samiko, for giving us so many extra bolts just in case we drop one. It's okay, I'm going to try to be careful. And then it comes with one of these. A little brush. Mm-hmm. I don't know what this is for. Glasses. Kidding. I'm assuming it has something to do with the funnel cartridge. So to get this thing going, I gotta take this off of here and then put this one on there. Okay, let's do it. Let's try not to break anything. What I just did is took off my Nagaoka MP110 and if you look at the back of these cartridges you can see that they have different colored pins right there and that's important because that's how we hook up the other cartridge see it has different colored pins too so in theory it should be pretty easy because we just take our removable head shell and then we hook up the same color wire to the same color pin. Now, if you don't have a removable head shell, it makes things a little bit more difficult. Not impossible, of course, but you'll have to change it out on the tone arm itself. With my Fluence turntable, it makes it a snap because I just install it on this instead of having to break a tone arm because I can, I, I can see myself doing that. I was shaming Samiko about not including extra screws and look at this. There's extra screws right in there. Sorry, Samiko. Okay, so you get four screws, bolts, just in case. Okay, okay.
we got it on. As you notice, I started putting it on upside down, but I switched it out. Now, if you have probably some needle nose pliers or I don't know, there's some probably specialized tool that you can use to put these uh, little leads on there, but they just pop right on. So I just use my fingers. And the cool thing about the Wellfleet cartridge is it has threaded inserts already built in. So you don't have to worry about losing tiny little nuts, which is often the case with other cartridges. So the Nagaoka MP110 actually needs a little nut on the bottom. This one does not need a nut on the bottom, so it's a lot easier to install on a tone arm or on a removable head shell. So now we have this connected. Now I have to align it to make sure that it doesn't destroy my records or the cartridge. So, the Wellfleet by Samiko, one of the oyster cartridges. Oyster. It's in the fa oyster family of cartridges over there at Samiko. So, I compare this directly to the Ortofon 2M Blue, but there's a big problem with that. It doesn't matter though, because I had it hooked up to my Pioneer. Hold on, I gotta see. I always forget what the model number is on this. My Pioneer SX3700. Mmm! It's a vintage, vintage receiver which is awesome. If you don't have a vintage receiver, please go out and get one because it's great. They're a lot of fun. They sound real good. And oftentimes they have a very good phono stage. This one, the Pioneer has a very good phono stage and I just like it because it has dancing lights. Anyway, I hooked up the Simico Wellfleet through the RT83, which is my reference turntable, Fluence. It's a $300, $350 turntable. But most of the money on those turntables goes towards the cartridges. So the RT82, 83, 84, 85 are fundamentally the same turntable except with different cartridges. And then the RT85 has a acrylic platter. Yes, this one does not. It's some type of metal platter. Anyway, does it matter? Not really. The real question here is how much should you spend on a cartridge compared to the turntable that you have? So I have a $350 turntable and I just put a $450 cartridge on there. Did I hear an improvement over the even upgraded Autophon 2M Blue? Yeah, I did. I did, but here's the problem. The Wellfleet has an output level of three millivolts. The Ortofon 2M Blue has an output level of five millivolts. So automatically out of the gate, there is a difference in gain. And since I don't have a way to mitigate that difference in level in the Pioneer Phono stage, you can't really make a comparison. I did hear some differences. The Wellfleet, I thought to my ear, was less noisy. I heard less static. Even when I turned it up, I still felt like it had less, you know, the hiss, in the, just the slight hiss in the background than the Ortofon 2M Blue. Ortofon 2M Blue is my favorite phono cartridge I, until now, I guess. It is very neutral, has a lot of definition, a lot of clarity, has a lot of dynamics. It's punchy and sparkly on top. It's not V-shaped, but it, that's my kind of wheelhouse as far as sound is punchy bass, sparkly on top, good clean mids. And I feel like the 2M Blue has that. You don't really know how good the 2M Blue is until you directly compare it to the 2M Red or the OM5E or the OM10. And then you can start to hear more separation, a more balanced signature, I guess, and just clarity, soundstage improvement. I can say all of those things with the Wellfleet against the 2M Blue. 
I think the Well Fleet is more clearly defined. If anything, I think it might be more dynamic than the 2M Blue and more punchy. And I was listening to the Black Album by Metallica, go figure, saying, man, at the beginning, it's do, 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 and that do, 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 that part, do, there was some, there's more definition. There was, it hung out in the air almost. It was more tangible, more organic on the Well Fleet than it was on the 2M Blue. And I love the 2M Blue. So the question is, how far can you take a turntable or how far can you take a $350 turntable? I don't think there's any issue with putting the Well Fleet on a Fluence turntable. I think it is better than the 2M Blue, to my ear, at least. 2M Blue comes in around, I think, $200. Well Fleet is twice as much. Is the Well Fleet, I don't know why, but I just feel like the Well Fleet sounds like it's not the right name. Like I feel like I'm messing up every time I say Well Fleet, but I'm not. Uh, it is the Well Fleet. I want to call it the Mean Well which is like a power supply. I don't know why. Well, Fleet. Whoops. Is it, uh, is it twice as good as the 2M Blue? Eh, probably not. Uh, it's better. It sounds better. And now, you know, it's kind of like, I wish I would quit hearing really good, more expensive stuff because now I'm just like, ah, uh, yeah. I kind of prefer the Well, Fleet. Ah, uh, I can't put a percentage on it. Um, because there is some definite improvements. And if you start to put in different uh, phono stages, um, get an acrylic planner, start to upgrade, I think, I think the um, capabilities of the Well Fleet are pretty impressive. So I think one could really eke out more performance from it. I don't know if you have a wood block cutting board wood block underneath it get a better platter all that stuff all that crazy stuff as it sits i think the well fleet's better than the 2m blue to my ear i think it's uh i think you're hearing more of the music through it would i run out and get it um i don't know it depends on what your budget is um if you have the budget and you're looking for a clean pretty balanced sound signature maybe a little bit of a boost in the bass uh yeah I would consider it. $450 is not, I mean, it's expensive, right? But it's not like $1,000 for a cartridge or something like that. So I think this is pretty compelling at the price. And I really like it. I like it. So if you have the budget, I would recommend it. The tracking force is two grams. Uh, so I didn't have to change the tracking force at all, which was nice because I can just pop out the 2M Blue put the uh, well fleet well fleet, yeah well fleet in there and uh, do some pretty quick comparisons but again since the output was different it's hard to really compare them but I did hear a difference I'm sure that if I continue to do more and more listening I'm going to hear more and more but um, I like it better than blue so if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap money, man. Every Sunday night, we have Patreon-only Zooms. We also have a Patreon-only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Amazon Music or Tidal Music. There are links in the description. Click on the links, sign up. Even if it's only for a trial, I get a couple of dollars. You can also use the affiliate links in the description. I think this is sold through Crutchfield, so I will link it through Crutchfield. If you buy it, then I do get a commission. You can also get one of my mugs, Rocktopus mug, Yeah. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen. Maybe through your new Samiko Wellfleet phono cartridge and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man. <laughs>